those colors, Mrs. Majors, to, um, from, yeah, you know, here in high school. So today we are doing skill 20 about N behavior. So we are continuing our lesson about the polynomial function and all that. So keep that in mind. All right, let's do some investigation. So for a linear function, y is equal to ax plus b, or you might think of as a mx plus b. The degree of a function is odd. Well, degree is what? One, the first degree. So that's why it's the odd function. Sketch a linear function in which a is less than zero. Okay, so we're doing a is less than zero and a is greater than zero. So we're going to go ahead and compare that. So if a is um, less than zero, so that's a negative a value. So when you have a negative a value, um, what does that mean? That means it has, it's going to be like, for example, y is equal to negative x plus one or negative two x minus three or negative four x plus seven or something like that where it has a negative slope so when you have a negative slope what does your graph look like negative slope algebra one bring it on yes like this yeah that's what the negative slope looks like so what is your end behavior what well, the left end behavior goes up the right end behavior goes down so your end behavior will be up and down Cool. All right, now let's look at when a is positive. So example can be any positive slope, right? So y is equal to 3x plus 1, y is equal to 5x minus 2, or anything like that. So what does positive slope linear function look like? Please remember, it looks like a boop, boop, positive slope. So what is your end behavior? Left end behavior goes down, right end behavior goes up. So it's going to be down and up. Cool. All right, now we're going to do the same thing, except this time we're going to do it with the quadratic function. y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. This is the standard form. What is the degree? Degree is 2. Second degree, that's why it's a quadratic, which is odd. Sketch a quadratic function in which a is less than 0. And a is greater than 0. And let's go compare it. My blue... Uh, Pen is dying, as you can see. So let's try a different color. Hopefully this works. So example, uh, any negative um, leading coefficient for the quadratic, y is equal to negative x squared. That can be one. Y is equal to negative mm, 2x squared plus 1, or anything like that. So when you have a negative leading coefficient for the quadratic, how do you grab? Please remember, oh, sad face. Remember that? Leading coefficient negative, it's going to be the sad face. So what is the end behavior? Left end goes down, right end goes down, down and down, down and down, down and down. All right, what if your A is, example, um, greater than 1? So y is equal to 4x squared. y is equal to mm, 2x squared plus x minus 1, anything like that. When A is positive, algebra 2, happy face, right? So left and behavior going up, right and behavior going up, up and up. Cool. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and complete this table, identifying the end behavior rule for any odd and even degree polynomial function based on the results from a book. Are you ready? All right. So over here, what kind of degree was it? It was the odd degree. So those two examples that we looked at are both odd degree. So first ones are going to be odd degree. Leading coefficient. You're going to have a positive leading coefficient or negative leading coefficient. So this example we saw, A was negative. So negative leading coefficient. The second example, A was positive. So positive leading coefficient. Are you with me? All right, what was the left end behavior when it was odd degree and negative leading coefficient? Left end was up, right end was down. Left end was down, right end was up. Okay, so I just fill out the first top two rows because that one was the odd degree, negative leading coefficient, positive leading coefficient, and left end, right end, left end, right end. Okay, all right, what about the second example? What kind of um, degree was it? If degree. We look at the negative leading coefficient, we look at the positive leading coefficient. When you have an even degree with the negative leading coefficient, what was the end, um, end behavior? Left end behavior going down, right behavior going down. Positive leading coefficient, it was up and up. Okay, 
okay so this chart is actually very 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 important a few um observation that i want you to make are these okay if it's an odd degree oh forgot that was the pen that wasn't working wasn't it all right sorry 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 <laughs> if it's odd degree it was opposite direction two end behaviors are opposite direction so it's up and down or down and up right a degree up and down down and up if it's an even degree two end behaviors are same direction right down down or up and up same direction cool all right another observation i want you to make is, is okay what depending on the leading coefficient so if it has a negative leading coefficient what common thing do you see from this up and down and down and down or if it's a positive leading coefficient these two second and the fourth one what do this down and up and up and up have in common some of you start seeing the pattern all right if it's a negative leading coefficient your right be end behavior goes down if it's a positive leading coefficient your right behavior and behavior goes up you see it okay so if it's a negative leading coefficient then your right end behavior goes down if it's positive leading coefficient your right end behavior goes up so depending on the sign of the leading coefficient you can think of what does the right end does so if it's a negative it's going to go down if it's a positive it's going to go up okay so kind of have to, so once again review all right don't look at it well you can look at it um if it's there are two categories that we are looking at right even or odd degree positive or negative leading coefficient so degree tells you which direction your end behavior goes so if it's an odd degree two are the opposite direction if it's an even degree two hands are the same direction so it's either going to go go both up or go both down what about the leading coefficient leading coefficient tells you the right end behavior so for those are right-handed you can just think of okay so if it's a positive your right hand is going to go up if it's a negative leading coefficient your right hand is going to go down okay cool all right so let's do some practice there we go aha uh -huh, there is my function so when you see the function we got to find the leading coefficient we got to find the degree and go from there in order for us to do that first thing you need to do is which one is has the highest exponent okay so you can't just look at the first number Ooh, negative 37 ah, 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 ah. no 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 you have to look at the highest exponent the one with the leading coefficient so if you have to combine the like terms you got to do it but this one you don't have to combine the like terms you can put in a standard form if you want to but what's the largest exponent the fourth power and that's the only one with the fourth power so i don't care about the rest i only care about the one with the leading coefficient so i'm going to circle for at k to the fourth power okay are you good all right what is the leading coefficient four so is the four positive or negative oh yeah four is positive now what kind of degree is it this is the fourth degree polynomial fourth degree fourth degree <laughs> so is the fourth degree even or odd even so i want you to use the positive leading coefficient and even degree all right are you ready all right get your finger ready all right positive leading coefficient so my right hand is going to go up okay even degree even degree means two hands has to be the same direction so up and up got it up and up so answer is going to be up and up where am i going to write it up <laughs> up and up but do you see over here how kind of written a little smarter there? Okay, so that's how the other method is going to do. So I want you to know it. As x goes to the left end behavior, left infinity, this means as x goes to the left, the left end behavior, what happened to the, your y? Where would your y go on the left? Go up. Positive infinity. As x goes to the positive infinity, so to the right, what is your right end behavior? It's going to go up as well, so it's going to be positive infinity. So that's a smart way of writing the left end behavior and right end behavior in notations. All right, let's keep going. Next. Once again, combine the like term if you have to. I don't see any. It was the largest um, exponent, fourth power. That's the only thing with the fourth power. So I'm going to go ahead and circle it. Oh my word, I made this question horrible. Let's change it up, everyone. Change it up, change it up. All right. Can you make this to the fifth power? 
change your note. <laughs> change it to the fifth power. Okay? So now, that's not the leading coefficient. This is going to be your leading coefficient. Negative 35, a to the fifth power. Okay? Alright, so what is the leading coefficient? Negative. What kind of exponent is that? What kind of degree is that? Fifth power is the uh, degree. So, finger ready, finger ready. All right. Negative leading coefficient, your right hand goes down. Odd degree, opposite direction. Up and down. Up and down. Now, left hand behavior. As x goes to negative infinity, f of x, f of x is going to go to the positive infinity. Because that's going up. Right hand behavior. As x goes to positive infinity, f of x is going to go to the negative infinity. Because it's going down. So, that's a left hand behavior. That's a right hand behavior. So you might be wondering, what are you talking about end behavior? Well, when you graph it, where does arrow go? That's what the end behavior is. So, let's do more practice. Polynomial function in the graph, using the graph to find the necessary information. All right, ready? There's a graph. It's asking me the degree. Okay, well, how do you find the degree in the graph? You count how many direction there is, right? So you go one, two three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five different directions. So it's going to be fifth degree, which is, by the way, a degree. Leading coefficient. Mrs. Major, how would I know leading coefficient by looking at this? Well, 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 I'm glad you asked. How would you know it? What's your end behavior? Let's do this one first, okay? Do you see the left end behavior goes down and your right end behavior goes up? Okay, so based on this, how would I know what the leading coefficient is? Well, my right hand is going up. So since it's going up, what does that mean for the leading coefficient? It's going to be positive leading coefficient. All right, it makes sense why those two arrows are different directions. It's the odd degree, so it should make sense to you there. Cool. Um, I think on the delta mat, it's asking a few more information. I um, think it's one of that is it's asking like zeros, distinctive zeros. How many there are? Well, you have to look at where it crosses with the x-axis. So here, one, two zeros. So two zeros. And I think it also asks you um, relative minimum and relative maximums. Um, how do you find it? Well, relative min relative max relative minimum is the bottom of the dip so in this case what's the bottom of the dip there, right there so there's one of them relative maximum top of the hill where's the top of the hill right there there's, there's one of them if it asks you how many relative extremes there are you will say there are two because it's relative minimum and relative maximum okay so that's not the focus of the lesson today's lesson but since delta math asks might as well just talk about it. Okay? All right, let's keep going. This one, let's go ahead and count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's the fourth degree even. All right, what's the end behavior? Going down, going down. So go down, go down. All right, it's good because even degree, both going down. Now, what will be the leading coefficient? Positive or negative? How do you know? Aha, uh -huh. look at the right end. It's going down, so it's going to have a negative leading coefficient um, how many distinctive zero there are two zeros there is only one relative minimum maximum there's no relative minimum there's no bottom of the dip cool all right now sketch a graph pay attention to zeros make sure graph behaves appropriately all right ready so first let's go ahead and find the zero zeros how do you find the zeros? We do this on the previous lessons. How? Set it equal to zero and then solve it. So we get x is equal to negative two, x is equal to one, x is equal to three. Mark it. Negative two, one, and three. Good. I think a few lessons ago we used a sign chart. Remember that? Yeah, sign chart. So pick a number less than negative two between. But that's one way to sketch it. This is just going to be another way of sketching. Okay. Um, now what do you do? We're going to determine the end behavior. Okay, how do you do it? You don't have to multiply all of these factors together. However, what will happen for my leading coefficient? Watch this. If 
if I just care about the leading coefficient, wouldn't it be this? Negative times x times x squared times x. Right? I'm looking at only the most x's. So negative times x times x squared times x, which is going to be negative x to the fourth power plus I don't care about the rest because n behavior is only determined by the leading coefficient and the degree. So I have negative x to the fourth power. What will my n behaviors look like? It's a negative leading coefficient. It's also even degree. So combining those two together, wouldn't it look like what? Negative leading coefficient, right hand goes down. Even degree, same direction. So down and down. Cool? Yeah, so it's going to start from the bottom. And it ends at the bottom. That's what it means. And down and down. All right, now we're going to go. Looking at it, which one has a multiplicity of 2? So that's a multiplicity of 1. That's a multiplicity of 2. That's a multiplicity of 3. So that says a 1, that has 2, that has a multiplicity of 1. So let's go. One Multiplicity of 1, go straight through, two, through it. Well, I can't even tell. Multiplicity of 2, looks like a quadratic. Multiplicity of 1, going down. So that's what it's going to look like. Get it? All right, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Right there, right there, right there. What are my zeros? Negative 3, 2. Negative 3, 2. Whoa, that's not negative 3. <laughs> negative 3 and 2. All right, if I were to FOIL it, distribute it with the highest exponent, what, are, what would it be? Negative x cubed times x, negative x to the fourth power. Wow, horrible example because it looks the same as that one. Uh, so it's a negative leading coefficient and even degree again so it'll be down and down so down and down down and down you good all right let's go negative three has a multiplicity of three so when you go it should look like a cubic around negative three and two has a multiplicity of one going down so that's what my graph looks like Cool. So today's lesson was all about end behavior. What happened on each end of the graph? Is it going up, up, down, down, left, down, blah, blah. So there we go. See you next class. Bye-bye.